USA Radio News with Chris Barnes. Breaking news is the U.S. Justice Department announces it's going to reinstate the death penalty after nearly two decades. Attorney General Bill Barr ordering the death penalty related to five death row inmates convicted of murder and in some cases raping children and the elderly. He says in a statement, the department owes it to the victims and their families to, in his words, carry forward the sentence imposed by our justice system. Republicans say yesterday's testimony by the former special counsel in the Russia investigation, Robert Mueller, proves that it's time to move past that Russia probe. Representative Jim Jordan's a Republican from Ohio. Most of the country knows the truth, which is there is no basis for impeachment. After yesterday's hearing, I bet more people in the country feel like there is no basis for impeachment. He spoke on Fox. This is USA Radio News. It's a record-breaking $5 billion fine for Facebook over the company's privacy policy. The FTC Chairman Joe Simons announcing it yesterday. This settlement is the result of an exhaustive investigation, which concluded that Facebook betrayed the trust of its users and deceived them about their ability to control their personal information. Corrections officials at a jail in Manhattan say that billionaire financier Jeffrey Epstein was found injured in his jail cell. He was reportedly found last night on the floor of his cell in a semi-conscious state with marks on his neck. Investigators have not yet determined what happened to him, but they say he will be kept on a suicide watch as Epstein has pleaded not guilty to federal conspiracy and sex trafficking charges. The Pentagon says North Korea has, in recent hours, fired two short-range missiles. And you're listening to USA Radio News. Congressional efforts to block arms sales to Saudi Arabia being stopped by the White House, the president vetoing the two bipartisan measures that were passed by Congress to halt sales to the Saudis and the United Arab Emirates. A well-known foreign actor has passed away. Rutger Hauer, best known for his role as antagonist Roy Batty in 1982's Blade Runner, has died at the age of 75. All those moments will be lost in time like tears in rain. He died in his native country, the Netherlands, after dealing with an illness. Hauer also starred in Sin City, Batman Begins, the original Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and Lady Hawk. He won a Golden Globe in 1988 for his role in a World War II television movie, Escape from Sobibar. For USA Radio News, I'm Wendy King. And listen up, handy guys. If you have this type of table saw, you'll want to know about it. The Consumer Product Safety Commission issuing a recall for the saw that was sold at Lowe's because of fire safety concerns. They say the Porter Cable 10-inch table saw has caused more than 60 fires. Find us online at usaradio.com. For USA Radio News, I'm Chris Barnes.